Today I'm going to show you how you might use RSpace to manage some chemical data sheets that you're using perhaps in your laboratory. So I've made a notebook called Chemistry Data Sheets and if I click on the notebook it'll take me straight into the notebook in notebook viewer mode so that I can see the sheets that I've already made. I can scroll through these very easily and I can see the various chemical structures. I can see a representative image of that chemical structures. I can see the chemical formula and name. And you'll notice that if I scroll down on the page, I can also see that I've made a field here to include the PubChem data sheet as a PDF. If I click view here, that will allow me to go ahead and open that sheet up in a new tab so I can see additional information about this particular molecule. So how did I make these particular pages and arrange them in the notebook this way? Well, let's go ahead and look at an example by saying create from template and then I'll search for the chemistry data sheet template that I previously made. So I'll just search for chem and click go. Here's the chemical data sheet template. I'll select it and I'll give this a new name to represent a new chemical that I'll be adding today. Perhaps I'd like to make a new chemical data sheet for this specific compound. And now I'll go ahead and say create. Now you can see that we have a new template that's based on an older sheet that I have and all this information here needs to be replaced. So I'll go ahead and I'll click the edit for the different fields and I'll start by deleting the name here that I don't want. And I'll use the chem, PubChem chemistry information sheets to look for the actual real name of this molecule and any alternative names that it might have. I'll go ahead now and take a look at the PubMed sheet for this particular compound and I'll copy and paste the name here into the chemical name field and say save. Now I'll go ahead and I'll replace the chemical structure and the image area inside this page and I'll also go ahead and replace the PubChem data sheet with the one that's appropriate for this compound. So now we can see that I've entered the correct names in the fields provided, the chemical formula, I've entered the chemical structure. If we go ahead and put this document now in edit mode, I can even open this up and look at it like this, or I could open it using our built-in chemical structure tool to make modifications to this structure if I wanted to. I could, for example, uh, you know, add another carbon group in an unlikely position over here, like this, or make any other changes that I wanted to to this molecule. I've also gone ahead and added in the PubChem PDF here and that now completes filling in this particular document. So now I can say save and close. If I'd like to know where I've used any of these particular chemistry data sheets, I can go ahead and I can scroll through these until I find a chemical that I'm interested in. So for example, if I keep going through these various different sheets that I've previously made, I can find perhaps a... Uh, actually I like this one. Uh, 17 deoxycartalonic acid. What I can do now is I can click on the info button for this particular document and I can try to find any other places within my electronic lab, no, lab notebook system where I've used this file. So here's a good example of where I've used it. If I click on this link it will take me straight to that document and you can see here that this is a description of some process that I'm doing in my lab and I've cited this particular chemical data sheet by just dragging and dropping the chemical data sheet in from my list of chemical sheets that are available here. And I could have chosen any of these to drag and drop into this particular page. So if I say I'd like to edit this and I'd like to add a different chemical data sheet, I can simply grab one from this list here and then bring it straight into the uh, the document and place it anywhere I want, including either, either at the beginning or if I don't like it there, I can put my insertion point a little bit lower down and I can drag in the document to a different location like this. Okay. So much for creating chemical data sheets and using them within the context of other sorts of documents in your notebook. Let's go ahead now and assume that we would like to search for one of the data sheets and the molecule that it describes using our advanced chemical structure search tool. So I've clicked on the workspace tab to go back to the workspace and now I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, the all area for the search parameters and say I'd like to perform a chemical structure search. Now what I'll do is I will drag in a mol file for one of the molecules that I'm looking for. So let's imagine I would like to find in my notebook anything that has this structure and I'd like to know exactly where it is in our space. I just drag it into the window like this and then I go ahead and click search and our space will go ahead and search for that particular structure 
and it'll show me anywhere that it thinks it finds it. And so here we go, you can see it's found one record that has that exact structure. I can click on that now and it will take me back to that record in RSpace, which in fact is the chemistry data sheet for that molecule, which appears to be the only place that I've actually used that chemical structure in my notebook so far.